this these users have the same capa capabilities as a standard moderator but I know this I completely know this the managing black words and change chat mods in live don't forget to do this close learn more close oh well you don't say I've happened to be back on the live I don't know, it didn't even show me my screen. All I saw was that, I swear to God. I don't even know what I just said. But if I said something inappropriate, it was not to be live. Dalman Mati. <laughs> Hi, how is everybody doing today? Um, Franco, what's good, amigo? I am alive and well. I'm finally out of Trujillo. That one place that I was just at in my other couple of videos. I'm finally gone. It looks like I'm in heaven with the gods, with the background. I love the, the, the clouds. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Um, hey, long, long time no see. This is like the first time in forever I've done a live. I, 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 I think I stopped doing it on Franco, and then I've just been busy. And the reason why I'm going live is because I'm going to be a little bit late posting this next video. I just got this apartment. Something happened with my last one, so I had to get a quick Airbnb to this one. And I, I actually like it. I like it a lot. If I look wet, it's not because I'm excited. It's because I just took a shower just throwing that out there I'm, I'm kind of just a little bit moist as of right now hello say happy <laughs> you are safe I am safe and I am well oh my god it's been crazy I got delayed because I guess there was some sort of a situation my other location so I've made it to where I am now on the 18th floor rooftop of they usually don't allow this because they you know sometimes people have the tendencies to jump but look at this isn't that awesome look at that background I was not expecting that I highly recommend for anyone who's overseas or like in the United States or wherever to travel to these countries you don't have to go to like a lot of the dangerous places that I usually go to but I, I recommend it because it's super cheap to be able to get like a nice place you know something that's kind of worth your money you know and you don't have to spend an arm and a leg and still afford food to eat look how beautiful this is Hey Frank, hi Mia, Jack, man of your, your vids rock. Thank you so much. Love your channel. First time catching you live. I, it's first time in a while for myself I even go live. Uh, hey Franco, you're the man balls of steel. Thank you, Elliot. Sharon, hey Frank from Scotland. Oh my God, I can't wait to go over there. Um, moist, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's like kind of like humidity. You can see how the whole clouds are very low to the ground. And right over there, I don't know if you could see that little bright shining light of hope, right? The light at the end of the tunnel. Right there is the big cross where I actually go to. It's one of my favorite spots to go here. But they're always warning me that it's extremely dangerous because nobody's really there and you could probably get robbed because it's all dark and not a lot of security. Wow, these clouds are super low. I'm pretty sure if I flew my drone right now, I could probably touch it. I, I have a thing with trying to touch the clouds with the drone. It's probably illegal, but I, I love it. It's amazing. And then over here is the coastal area where the, the ocean is. And then you have all the way down here. It's probably going to be windy, so just be warned. But right down here. Don't do it, Frank. It's not worth it. I was actually expecting a bit of a ledge, but right over here. That'll do it. Woo, that is a long drop. Imagine I dropped the phone. A little nervous there and then look over here this is the top part <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this because the first time I see it so I'm actually checking it out there's a pool up here and it's actually a nice one usually the pools are horrible I don't know if you guys can see it Let's see if my little light could do anything no nothing so nice all right let me go back to the table so I don't get distracted There you guys are. Sorry. The internet connection might suck. Uh, it's probably because we're <laughs> where I'm at. So bear with me. Love your videos, <laughs> Romania. Oh my God, I have a friend from Romania. I want to go to Romania. Um, so this is the plans that I want to share with you guys to let you guys know what's coming up next. Sean, by the way, I want to see if I could get my current moderators Add as a moderator. My, managing moderators can manage block words and change the chat mode in live. Standard moderator can view, review or remove. Um, I guess both. Can I do?
do both? Oh, no. I guess I already picked it. Wow, amazing. Uh, wow, Frank, so happy holidays. Thank you. Oh, my God, I missed... I miss my family. I haven't seen my family in forever. Soon, I'll be able to see them, and then I could actually visit them. I think we have a, my mom's actually going to gift me a nice little cruise ship, um, so I could go with my aunt, my my dad, my brother, my. I think that's it. <laughs> I think we're all gonna gonna go on a cruise ship to the islands, which I will be documenting it on this channel. But Franco, I think I'm going to take a break uh, once I start that, or my just work extra so that way I can have content to throw out during the holidays or once I get back which is gonna be a March next year so it's not anytime soon I still have a ton of adventures going and I'm preparing my trip don't do this to me the internet sucks right now oh yeah that's right okay sorry I got messages from friends of mine too that uh there you go let's see how i can I'm trying to see if i can make some moderators in here because i don't normally i don't really have any moderators here add as a moderator there we go um okay if i see another one of my normal moderators <laughs> i could probably make you guys as moderators there we go all right so i don't want to really touch the phone too much because i feel like i'm going to screw it up the internet's a little bit finicky, so bear with me. I'll be going to some dangerous areas in uh, Ecuador, and then from Ecuador, I'll be making my, it could be Brazil, it could be Colombia, uh, or I could probably do some videos on the local drug trades. I don't know what to expect uh, on a lot of those other places. And then from after that, I think, I that's when the trip probably goes to March, and then when March is done, overseas I, i've been saying this i think i say this all the time to my to my patreon but so you guys know that's when i go overseas and i don't know what to expect out there i do want to go to russia check out the underground bunkers that they have through there uh i i even want to go to germany i'm going to be there forever as soon as i get over there i'll be traveling back and forth and whatnot and yeah tomorrow i make my trip to one of the great well to a graveyard from my other channel i, I can't get confused because i usually get confused between both channels um felipe says hola soy de mexico bienvenidos felipe gracias pa habiendo mi canal y pienso que tu lo gusto como esta tu dia felipe and cute alien says happy holidays happy holidays cute alien papa franco is back doing live streams it's been a minute it's it's been it's been a very good minute i've wasn't planning to but i I'm, I'm actually just got back and i just wanted to kind of brush up with you guys see how you guys are doing it's kind of new for this channel usually i just like to kind of give you guys you know content um and then yeah now quick question can, can you guys write something in the comment because it seemed like the comments stopped i just want to make sure it's not my feed because if it is, I might have to reset it, I think. Yeah, if someone could just write anything and just pop it there. If not, yep, I'm not seeing anything. I'm pretty sure you guys are doing it. All right, give me one second. Stand by. We're having some technical. You can now put people in timeout. <laughs> it's just, things keeps giving me messages. You can now put people in timeout for different lit for different lengths ranging from 10 seconds to 24 hours and if they continue you can slap them in the got it i got it all right at first I'm, i thought i was gonna there we go so now i can see the comments all right there we go so i want to be able to ask you guys questions see how you guys are liking it any recommendations for locations probably in ecuador colombia uh there's this other place that i want to check out too uh, I forgot the name of it. I don't know if a lot of you guys are there. If you guys are there, I'm literally adding moderators as I'm as I'm doing this. There we go. I got Tammy. I got Sean. I have Cute Alien. Catherine, welcome to the team. Catherine's awesome. Been knowing Catherine. You're just gonna, you know, you're in there now. And hello, Carrie and Shelly Dibs. And there we go. You should go to Mexico City. 
I would. In fact, I might. Could, well, this is this is the idea. When I get back from the cruise, I was thinking maybe I could probably take a quick trip to Mexico, depending on how our things. I got to make sure it's not like on a red zone or a green zone. No offense to Mexico. I think Mexico is a beautiful place. I've been dying to go there, and I've been warned left and right from all sorts of people saying you should go, you shouldn't go, you're gonna get kidnapped, and you know just I you know so I've just been careful because I don't <laughs> I want to be I want to be safe as much as I can, and you know over here I haven't seen much of that, but I don't know. I got to see how things play, and the thing is, if I go over there, I want to be able to take my truck. Uh, and, and see how that goes. Daniel HK, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, bro. Can I give you a heart? Oh, that's your heart. I see, I see. That is your heart. Is that Frank's brother, Sean? Oh yes, if you're wondering in the picture, that's not my boyfriend. Um, that's my brother. <laughs> it was an old picture we did, and then I photoshopped the hell out of it, and then made it look, I really wanted to have like a war behind us, and then me and my brother just standing in the middle of the war. But that's my that's my brother. Yeah, he's, he's, he's real cool. Um, I love that kid. I miss him to death. Uh, he's always playing video games. We've been playing Fortnite. That's as much as I get to see him is Fortnite. Hello, I'm from Canada. Let me see. Hello, Cam Juice Kissy. <laughs> so, so, uh, hello, I'm from Canada. Saskatchewan. Much love. Sas Saskatchewan. But I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not torturing it. Loads of European, Canadians, and Russia go to Mexico, no truck. So don't bring the truck, I'm saying. Because I, I just don't want to get my truck stolen. It just doesn't look, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't bring my truck here to the areas that I go to because I know for a fact it would get stolen in a jiffy. Just because it just doesn't, you know, it stands out. It doesn't look normal. Uh, cool, Frank, hello from Quebec. Oh, my God, that is, I wonder how it looks like in Quebec right now. Catherine, hey, it took me like he was too right hand. Oh yes, that was that's that's AI for you. So the AI generator, if you look at the picture, it does like these weird. I don't know. It has there's somebody else's hand in there. I don't know who that hand is. Oh, um, but happy New Year, happy New Year, Melissa. Canada too. I I I would like to visit Canada. I do. I do. I I really want to see if I can make my way overseas maybe after Mexico, if I decide to go to Mexico. Still up in the air. It's a long time from now. It's till next year. So how about Tasmania, Frank, home of the Tessie Tiger? I've never, did I just say the name right? Tasmania. Tasmania. I don't know. I've never even heard of Tasmania, but that sounds amazing. Anita and Gordon Showcross Clifford. I've I got to check that out. Um, uh, Marco Polo. I haven't said that in a lot recently. Marco Polo, Canadian, in the house. Uh, I'm, I must be far past the comments. Here we go. Tasmania is art of Australia. No, it's part of Australia. Australia, then, definitely. I would love to go to Australia. I'm actually trying to see if I could check out the bunkers. And there's like this Nazi. Uh, there's this part of Germany where there's like these Nazi hideouts. Or old bunkers that used to be there from the Nazis that I, oh my god, I would love to go explore. Um, and then they have these old war bunkers in case that there was a war. They just go in there for miles and, uh, yeah, I want to be able to travel through there. And then the, I can't say this word because I'll get kicked off of YouTube or it'll break flag down. But it's the S Forest of Tokyo or Japan. S Forest. That has been one of my dream locations that I've always wanted to check out. And because I've been stuck in South America for so long, I just heard a gunshot. Um, <laughs> Historical says, take me with you. Not until you take me first. Give me your hand, son. Come with me. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know if you guys ever watched the movie. Like, I feel like like the movie, uh, what is it called? The Curious, nope, not Curious Case. It is the, the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. That's technically how I feel, 100%. Where I remember I was looking at a, uh, someone's video and they were going on a whole bunch of adventures and I was stuck at the job and I hated it. It was like a spiritual battle between me. I'm like, I have to get the hell out and never return. And I've noticed that the ship has been sailing quite well since I've been doing it. And um, 
I want to keep it up. Again, I apologize if there's a lot of wind. But there is. Hi, Franco from New Zealand. Been a subscriber from the start of your channel. Thank you so much, Scott. I appreciate it. I hope you like it. And, and <coughs> my voice is a little dry. No snow in Quebec right now. It's raining. It's raining and would go ghost hunting with you if you come. Oh, that would be awesome. I Well, I didn't even know there was ghosts in Quebec. I've never been to Quebec. I've only heard of it. And it's one of those places like you just sounds interesting, Quebec. I could just see that in the title, you know, the story of Quebec, a place where there's lots of rum and lots of women. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just a, there was a Pirates of the Caribbean thing, but yeah, but it's a beautiful place and it's amazing with lots of gold and treasure. Um, Japan is crazy haunted. Oh my God, I would love to go to the, there's, there's so, it's not even just like the haunted part. It'll work great, like hand on hand between haunted and then the exploration side because there's like uh there's these hotels that are old and abandoned up in the middle of nowhere and i want to go with you to see the bunkers see th see when you say that you it sounds like you're about to fall victim into a trap it's like oh i'm going to take you to the bunkers it just sounds like if somebody told me i had there was this one person i used to know right and i don't even remember her name but she said she had a basement. She says, one of these days, Frank, I'm gonna get you in my basement. And it was the weirdest thing because one day, I, what was that? Did you see that? Right over here. Oh, that's one of those lights. Oh, okay, never mind. That was a light. And I might have messed up my hair. I self cut it myself. I took like a buzzer and the guy from Argentina destroyed my hair, but that's another story. But yeah, she wanted to take me to her, her thing. And then apparently I went, to some place up north and she's like oh my god i'm five minutes away from you i'm coming to see you right now in the middle of me like getting ready to record yeah that was an awkward moment i haven't heard from her since but some say that she's still out trying to get to me and uh yeah i don't know why that reminded me of the bunkers but she's still trying to get me into her basement bunker type of thing happy new year uh glad you're still alive i am surprised that i've made it this far thank you so far, so much joanne hearing but yes I'm surprised I've made it and I'm still alive. Um, Trujillo was, Trujillo was, how do you say it? Trujillo is a location that looks extremely dangerous. It looks like one of those places that you would see in Once Upon a Time in Mexico at night, right? With like Antonio Banderas or uh, Desperado. And it's just like those empty dirt road streets with dust flying everywhere where it just feels instantly dangerous, but it isn't as dangerous, even though well, let me not say that because the mall that I went to, someone got shot in, in the box. They died. They, they just went to the mall, the food court, exactly where I was at and got shot like four or five times and was pretty much, his life was taken away that day. Um, I got to be careful with the words I say though because if I say K-I-L-L-E-D, it's like flagged. So it's just like, I, I want to be careful. But yeah, he was pretty much KO'd right there in the mall the guy ran through the gun and now they're shutting down all the malls in Trujillo because there's no metal detectors you know what Trujillo's dangerous I'm not even gonna lie sometimes I try to say nice things because I don't want to piss off you know people and then I have a mark on my head but that was pretty dangerous um, and then yeah so you can't even walk at night you know by yourself because you'll end up you don't even know I've had so many things on and off camera like this guy in the taxi that kept trying to get me on his taxi. Taxi? Taxi to get a taxi? No, no, yo no get a taxi. Okay, okay, he'll drive around the block, come back around again. Pero taxi, donde tu va? I'm going home, it's right there. Yo te llevo, pretty much, I'll take you. I'll take you, why? It's right there, it's fine, come. No, I almost said the F word, but I was like, screw you. Yeah, that's a trap. I'm not going to fall for that again. But oh, why? What's wrong with you? My name is George. You, Frank. So now you know me. No, it doesn't work that way. So you got to be careful because, man, it doesn't matter if you're a girl or a man. This is anywhere. Anywhere this could happen. But, uh, yeah, man. Like, And I didn't record it because, you know, sometimes you just don't have a camera on you. Or you just don't want to take out your camera because... It just kind of puts you out as a target, you know? Hold on, I kind of got stuck in the comments at one area. Uh, don't get 
and don't uh, get in unless you you called them. Oh yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. Sometimes Ubers, the more the more countryside you go, the less Ubers there is, and then there isn't any Ubers. So you kind of just have to get into a car and trust in God that you're gonna make it to where you're gonna make it. If not, it's definitely gonna be interesting. Um, I take a whole bunch of pictures of every person's car that I get into. Uh, so I actually have a collection. I might show it one day. Frank, did you ever watch uh, Proving Demons? No, I haven't. Uh, Sup, Franco, dude, come over here to New Zealand, dude. I, I, I'm working on it. The world's a big place, so I'm like, it, it, it's small steps. I'm almost there, but I'm getting there eventually. It's just, oh man, it's been like a year since I've even seen my family. I think I only saw them for like three days and I had to go to the blizzard snow to pick up my truck and hot wire and redo the electrical because they broke into it. And it's been an adventure. Like it has been one hell of an adventure. Hi Franco, love your videos from South Dakota. Oh my God, I love South Dakota. I think South Dakota has like the Washington monuments where I want to go behind one of their heads because there's a secret room. And I almost tried to do it, and then the cops stopped me. That was a that was a that was a while ago, but there's a story to that. But yes, thank you, Sandy. I appreciate it. Um, Smiley Pie, hello, Frank, my favorite ghost hunter. Thank you. Well, I think on this channel, I'm supposed to be an adventure, right? Because you know, you know, like I'm just spreading my, you know, let me spread my seeds. I'm trying to like, you know. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. If people know you as something, as long as they know you, that's all that matters, you know? You're, you're doing good on something. Um, love your videos all the way from Washington, D.C. Thank you, uh, Smiley Vice, uh, Deborah Bass. Hey, Frank, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. I feel great. I'm about to go for a walk, do some exercise uh, where I'm staying at. I might go to the ocean a little bit. I don't know. I like long walks on the beach. Uh, like to listen to some soft music to slow things down for you lovebirds back there ufos in the background i keep thinking i'm seeing ufos too i like how your name is alien six seven thousand uh, or six thousand seven hundred but yeah i see like these lights and they're not here i'll use my other camera so you guys can see it i'm gonna forward here on the comments here north dakota here snow uh no snow no snow yet huh i missed the snow See, those are where the lights are coming from, way out there in the distance. I remember when I was a kid, the lights would shine up and you'll see things reflecting into the sky, like little balls of light, and then they would disappear. But I, I don't know what, that, that happened one time way back when. Frank, you should have brought your truck to Newport, Richie. My son is a mechanic. Oh, my truck is fixed. My truck is actually fixed now, so it's just at my house where my dad and my mom are watching over it uh, till I'm able to get back, fix the catalytic converters. I was, to, I'm still thinking on selling it, but I may not because I know the car market is so expensive right now until all this passes and things kind of eventually get back to normal, hopefully, God willing, and then I could get my truck. <coughs> but look at that. here I was able to see people doing a party well I could be able to see people doing a party because at that top floor is like a little balcony area like this one and you could probably out and have this all to yourself and cook some stuff look how nice that is oh my god I love this place and if you're wondering how much it cost me to rent this Airbnb the room yet I just heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Thing is, this area is very known for earthquakes. So, and I smell the devil's lettuce. I just got a good whiff of it. Like, I want to make sure I'm alone because I just smelled. I smell. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Yep. I see people. Okay. So, thank God they're in that side. All right, so there, there's people on the other side that I see two heads, and they're smoking. That's how, that's how my instincts have been lately. I have to be on such a guard because I have trust issues, and you just never know. 
what could happen. Gotta go, Frank. Sorry, getting called to the back to see doctor. I'm at the hospital. All right, Tammy, good luck. Tammy's, oh, I hope you feel better, Tammy, because you've been inside and out. Uh, smell it everywhere. <laughs> smell it. Yeah, well, you know, usually when you're up high in a building and you think you're by yourself, you're not going to smell that lettuce, but I smelt it. I was Where are they? There's people fighting now downstairs. I can hear them screaming. I know you travel a lot, but where do you leave? Or where do you leave or live? I live, if you mean leave, I leave, let me see, in a couple of weeks or a week, uh, the two weeks or three weeks, I think, I'll be making my way to Ecuador. And then that's when I leave. And then from Ecuador, I just jump because I can't be in this country for longer than 90 days. Once I cross my 90 days, then I deal, it's, it turns illegal. I learned that the hard way in Argentina. I almost got arrested there. But uh, yeah, and then I just keep going. So it's like every month I'm in a new country or every month or two, depending on how much content and location I have. Um, if weather permits, I'm going to haunted locations tonight. Really? Oh, good luck, man. Hope you have fun. Record everything. I, I think if there's something I'm going to invest in when I get back to the house, just uh, an FYI for if you guys want to ever try it, have like a camera that you always have strapped on you. So when the cameras are off and something happens, you just click record and you're already recording the action and you're not really holding it. So it doesn't kind of, uh, I just wish I brought something for my chest plate. Franco is on the run. It, could you imagine? I'm actually like running from the United States government for like tax evasion and I'm just, I'm gone. Like I'm like, no, no bitch, I'm gone. You know, I don't know. I, it does feel like that sometimes that I'm running. Uh, it reminds me of this one song from The Divide. Oh my God, that stuff is so strong. And the wind's blowing it right to my thigh, like right in my nose. Yep, definitely gonna be a lot more happier after this video. Sorry, my internet is messing up. Lost you again. No, don't, I know the feeling. Do you think they have out there? The rake. Man, I, I know they got some stuff out here. Now, if you're talking about, like, cryptid beings and stuff like that, I don't know. I'm more worried about assassins. I'm more worried about assassins, drugs. Um, not that kind of drugs like marijuana. I, I don't care. Knock yourself out. Have fun. But I'm more worried about me seeing something or being in a situation where I'm not supposed to see something. I mean, there's so many people that go disappearing because they walked into something they weren't supposed to see. Um, and yeah, that's what I feel like, you know, I get nervous because I'm going to these places where things like that would happen. Uh, hope all goes well, Tammy, stay safe. And, and I keep seeing that thing over my shoulders throwing me off. Uh, Frank, glad you're doing good, buddy. I got to get, I have to go, go, going to be in early tomorrow morning. All right. Oh, Sean, be safe, brother. Thanks for being in here. Any recommendations for video cameras with night vision? Bro, I'm going to be honest, I use about four to five different night vision cameras, and a lot of it is with editing, so I can make it look a lot more clear than what the cameras are doing, and I'm still on the search of what's the what's the perfect camera that I could use for these videos. I mean, with all the editing that I do for night vision, just to make it look like the way it does, and I'm not happy with it. I want, I wish I had one camera that does all for night vision. Um, but as of right now, no. <laughs> as of right now. Um, you are doing so well. Thank, oh, thank you, Sandra. I appreciate that. Right back at you. Shall, Shelly, Deborah, Will, uh, Buffering, take, take in, uh, sorry, take it in, my friend. You're probably talking about the marijuana. No, I, I can't because I, I, I rather not. I, I, I got my body working on pure natural. So I'm drinking water. I'm no longer on Cokes or drinks or any of these drinks. The last thing I want to do is get stuck on something else. <clears throat> and then, you know, see where that goes. Uh, Sandra says, no collabs? Uh, I, you know what? I've been asked that quite a bit. And I got a lot of people that would like to do collabs. The thing is, is that I have trust issues. I always say that. I, I don't know. 
uh, I have trust issues, so I like doing things on my own and then just going on the adventure. Now, I do have... A, a, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I, I do have some contacts, but I usually use people, if anything, for security or to get me locations or to get me access to a location. But as far as collabs, I feel like... Now, for this channel, probably yes, eventually. If I ever meet into people, I'm always hiding like a little squirrel, so it's like it's hard to even see me because I'm like a ninja. I got this whole little splinter cell kind of mindset right now. I don't know when it's going to, like, when I'll get over it, but I like this whole sneaking around, danger, you know, Tom Clancy style, hence why I always use splinter cell music on the, on the videos for this one. On the Ghost channel, I think I get, I'm going to be honest, the viewers that I get on that channel... <coughs> My throat's a little dry, but the views that I get on that channel from the people that watch seem to like the channel a lot better when I'm alone and I'm just doing the videos. But if I'm with people, I have a hard time concentrating and concentrating more on the person that's with me than I do with uh, focusing on the paranormal. The thing is, I'm very easily distracted. It's just in my blood. I, I, I'm hard. Uh, well, not hard, but you know, I'm, I, I, it's hard for me to pay attention while I'm doing my videos. So the best thing for me to do is just to kind of just do it, get it done on my own. And then, yeah, but for the, you know, the traveling vlogs, I think maybe in the future, I, I have some ideas, but we'll see if they ever come to flourishing. Um, you know what I mean? Let me see. If you start laughing for no reason, we know why oh yeah because I'm, I'm totally cooked i'm baked we love you from the uk asia and pablito oh my god asia i would love to go to asia too i want to go to well do i i don't know they, there's like this thing i want to do for a video it's like go to the smallest apartment that you can rent in china or i think it's china or tokyo or something like that but there's so many things i want to do for this channel uh oklahoma hello from oklahoma hello hamzer tubi um, running away from your problems like I do when I play Ark Survival. Oh my god. You know, I couldn't get into Ark Survival. If you guys are wondering what that is, it's a video game. Um, Ark Survival is, I don't know, like, I, I love it. It looks beautiful. It looks nice with the dinosaurs and pterodactyls and taming an animal. Um, I think my friend Yanko plays that game a lot. And then my other friend Joel, they're from the States. So I'm, I only talked to him through that. Um... But yeah, I, I just couldn't get into it. It just, I don't know. My laptop runs ARC pretty well, but I just haven't been able to. Keep up the good work, Frank. We need more lives. Do you? Do you guys want? I want to do a live next time, but at a location. This is just kind of an emergency live because I've just been held back with the apartment and then just trying to get this all done. Why do you strap a camera on your back to record what's going? You know how many times I get asked that question? Can't even say it. How many times I get asked that question? This is the reason why I don't strap a camera, and this is the reason why nobody straps a camera to their back when recording a location. Um, and I'm assuming you're referring to paranormal. If you strap a camera to the back of your back, you're gonna see black. <laughs> you're gonna see black. If I'm in a mansion or in a house, I mean, what you see in front of me with the, with the IR infrared lights is what I use that's mounted on my camera. But anything behind me is not being lit. So all you're gonna get is pure darkness uh if i'm outside and if i'm strapping it to my back stabilization gonna be horrible because you need three points of contact on the body while holding a camera you need your arm your right arm and your chest too i always hold the camera towards my chest that's why you probably hear my voice a little loud and with those three points of contact you have best stabilization then upon editing you go into a it's depending on what feature you're using, but you go on to uh, your editing thing and you click auto stabilization and that makes it just perfect because you're not moving. So without you moving, it already looks stabilized. But with the that feature added on, it just looks like a nice steady footage. Now, putting that on your back, oh my God, that's horrible, horrible idea. It just doesn't work. I would rather stay with a static camera than to have a camera strapped on your back. 
Um, yeah, so if you ever wonder that, I don't know if that's going to answer everybody's questions because I get so many people asking me that. You can't. Like, it's just going to look horrible. It's going to be wiggling. There's no support. I'm going to look like I'm in a gigantic wheelchair on my back just trying to stabilize the camera. It's like, do you guys like that? Is this what you're into? Is this what you want? You're sick. You're sick. You like to see me suffer. Yeah, it's already hard as it is, man. Especially me trying to hide my equipment while working. <laughs> um, hey, Frank from Ed in North Carolina. Hey, Ed. What's going on? Um, Crystal Hopkins. I believe that lettuce was... Wait. Demonized in the 50. It also has many good qualities. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. You. Th oh, my God. My brain was so off. I was like, lettuce? But now I get what you're saying. The devil's lettuce. Um, I don't really care for it. In fact, I'm glad people do it because I would have not known I was here by myself if I did not smell it. So your senses are always kicking in. So I'd rather smell it in the location than to not smell nothing and then find somebody butt naked. Ah, oh my God, it's so big. And then you're just awkward. And then I got to blur it out of the video and then try to put it on the video because that would actually be pretty good for a camera. I'm pretty sure a lot of people enjoy that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm ranting about, but I'm, I'm sure you get the picture. Frank up there getting a contact high. Oh, they're not that close. You're making it sound like they're blowing it up my nose. They're, they're like way over there. Let me see if they're still there. No, they left. Well, did they? Let's check. Because I was just up here on the pool. Yeah, they're gone. They just went up here to blow the torch and they just left. <coughs> anyway. Thing is that the whole day today, I don't really talk too much on I do lives just to kind of give you guys as much that's on my head as possible. I talk, you should stream on Twitch um, on here and do some gaming with fans. Well, the thing is, I feel like if I stream my gaming sessions, I'm probably going to get banned. <laughs> because I'm going to say something. The thing is, is that, listen, I'm only human, okay? Sometimes the things that come out of my mouth isn't, you know, sometimes I say things and I feel like that's going to get me canceled quick. Um, I, I don't tend to have a filter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I take my gaming so serious, but uh, uh, just want you to know I get so excited when I see a new video or a live stream from you. I really enjoy your content. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. I, I man, I, I almost feel bad when I do a live stream because I feel like I want to give you guys so much good content. Like I want to give you guys the best that I can possibly do. And I feel like I cheese out when I go to a live, but... Sometimes people want to see how you're doing and get to talk to you and, and I'm so I don't know I get so caught up with work where I feel like I just got to keep going keep going, you know um, Hit the like button guys or or mr. Beast will eat your cookies <laughs> Oh, well, you know what that would be pretty cool. I heard he was getting sued. Mr. Beast my keyboard and I just got into a fight and it won I'm so pissed off right now. I'll be right back I'm not sure what happened but good luck with that fight. I've broken my keyboards many times. Um, collabs with people really boost your channel. Well, yeah, YouTubers that are much bigger than you. Well, you know what? I, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I have some insight on that. So I think it's the individual that gets the viewers to come to your channel. Now, don't get me wrong. If I'm collabing with like Mr. Beast or uh, you know, like somebody huge, that's much different. But, you know, I, I noticed when it comes to, I might do like a traveling collab, like a travel for this channel. I keep forgetting I'm on Franco Travels. Um, for Franco Travel, definitely. I, I wouldn't mind doing collabs. It's a cool exploration, exploring some content and going to locations or whatever. Um, for Franco TV, I usually just keep it me because it's just, you know how it is. It's just so, sometimes, let's be serious, paranormal could definitely get toxic. Um, and I feel like it's easier if daddy does it alone and not have to worry about anything. 
because sometimes jealousy gets in the mix or sometimes other things get in the mix and you know it's just it's a pain in the arse so yeah th this channel definitely i wouldn't mind doing collabs because there's you know it's an exploration video you're going into a creepy place whatever big or small or thick you know whatever you want to call it and you're just going in there nice and hard and you're just finishing off strong with a good video and you come right out you're surprised you make it maybe your buddy gets hurt you patch him up he gets bit by a snake so you got to suck the venom out of his wound right you patch him back up look at him in the eyes say, are you good and you have like this brother c code you know or it could be a girl that would be interesting you know not that I'm saying it's impossible or anything. I just, it would be interesting. <laughs> I'm going to stop a lot. I don't know where I'm going. I think I, I inhaled too much of that smoke. But, um, you know, I, I totally see that for this channel. But for the Franco TV, I think that one's just going to stay the way it is and keep doing the adventures and going strong in that route. You know what I mean? So let's see how, let's see how that looks. Hi, Franco. Love your videos. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. Oklahoma Paranormal, love your videos, Franco. Thank you, Oklahoma. I'm surprised. There's so many people from Paranormal on this channel. I thought that this channel would probably be like people from Adventures would see that from the Adventure side. But I do advertise it. So maybe because I advertise it. You're a survivor for sure. Be careful. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think that is one of the coolest things I've ever been called, a survivor. I'm like a nomad survivor because I don't belong here. I don't belong anywhere. And I like the art of that. Oh, that looks like a huge UFO. Look at that. <coughs> right there in the sky. It looks like there's a big invisible ship just hiding in there. When I was younger, I used to think they were. Because I had a lot to learn back then. Franco, where do you learn Spanish? Well, when I first came here, I was horrible at Spanish. And then I went to the streets and I started talking to the, to the male prostitutes. And I was like, so, hablame, como esta tu vida? I was trying to do some documentaries and they were saying some things in Spanish that I could not figure out. And it, for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out. And then I just kept listening, listening, listening. Eventually, I started putting pieces together and it started making sense. So, technically, I learned Spanish by speaking to the people. <laughs> pretty much or them talking to me and then using Google Translate every once in a while and re remember I am Spanish my mom and my dad are from Puerto Rico a lot of people say I'm Mexican I don't care to me it's the same thing uh, other people don't say that no they're not they're two totally di listen we speak Spanish we're Latin and we all like tacos okay it's the same thing um, and so and so uh, you know, so I already knew pre-Spanish already built inside me. So I kind of already know curse words, first of all, because my mom and my dad, you know, let, let's let just end that there. It was pretty graphic when I was young. And then that stayed with me. So I, I caught on to what some people were saying and I started speaking it. And now, yo puedes hablar mar mejor hablando español. And you can't forget the rrr. Sounds like a, a Honda turning on. Rrr. You can't forget that. That's important because the rrr and the no rrr determines whether, you know, you're a tourist, pretty much, at least where I'm at. So you got to add the rrr. It's important. And then uh, you add that in and then you just kind of, you know, bueno, yo estoy buscando por un lugar que se llama Hotel Cinco. Y yo quiero quedar en un cuarto donde yo puedes dormir y despierte mañana. But sometimes I'm a little crummy and I, and I screw it up and I say things that don't make sense. Um, and that's probably what, like, you know, if I'm talking to a girl, I get nervous, you know. Um, or if it, usually with the guys, I'm confident. You know, it's not like I'm trying to get a guy, it's, you know, the other way around. So if it's a girl, I get nervous and then they just know I'm a tourist and I start sweating and then I got to go walk away because, you know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding but yeah that's kind of how I learned I only want to see you hook up with Ben Casper site oh Casper oh Casper site is so freaking cool by the way I am so that guy's awesome I you know you could generally see that he thoroughly enjoys the videos and I love the fact I love the fact that he, he actually featured me this last video um franco let's go franco franco i'm like this guy's so cool oh man i i love it when i see people enjoying the content um that to me just kind of like it, it it puts a it puts a fire in my heart 
and we all carry the fire. Carrying the fire is important, you know, because we all carry it. How are you supposed to light up the way if you don't have a fire going? It's the fire inside your heart. You got to remember that. It's important. Sometimes we forget, we get distracted, and then we feel like we're just a stick and we don't have a fire. I don't know where this conversation's going, but you are the fire. And seeing that, you know, just, you could be surprised. Sometimes your stick is not light and you just need someone to give you a good compliment and it just relights your fire and you thought your fire was on, but surprise, it wasn't. Listen. Oh, those are fireworks. That's right. They do this thing here that on Christmas, they do fireworks. Who would have known? I didn't even know that. I thought I was getting shot at when I was in Trujillo because they threw fireworks right out my door. I'm happy I left Trujillo. Um, haven't helped us if, heaven help us if some ghost focuses on your buddy and not you. I might have missed that one. Uh, Frank, you're very strong and brave. Go alone all the time and you can't help but worry sometimes. I mean, I feel more confident now than what I've ever done. Content is better without collabs. I agree. I agree. Content is so much better without collabs. Because I feel like I could be myself and not get distracted with someone else. Well, you know, whatever. Yeah, I, I'm with you. <coughs> Have you been to Tampa Cemetery for filming? Buddy, I've been... Oh, my God. Every cemetery that exists in the United States. I My butt has been there. And there's a tree that I might have peed on somewhere because I've been there for hours and days if I could. I've been to every cemetery out there. Tampa, Kissimmee, Miami, even graveyards where I'm not even supposed to be. I've been into this one Jewish cemetery and I'm not even allowed to film in there. Sometimes I go to graveyards and I forget that I've been in them. And I start recording and I'm like, my God, I've seen this before. That looks so familiar. Then I realize I've been here like 30 times. I'm like, wait, I've, I've told, I remember Mr. Johnson. I've, I've just, oh my God, it's, I've been there so many times. Daniel HK. Hey Frank, I see you cut uh, your video shorter. You do, <laughs> man, I get this comment a lot too. Um, how do you do it without missing a paranormal scene that we might catch, but you don't during editing? All right, so. There's a lot of boringness when it comes to, especially paranormal. And if you've done paranormal, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. 90% of paranormal videos is, well, let me not say 90. I would say about, depends on where you're at. If you're like in a place where everybody's doing witchcraft, everybody's sneaking in doing drugs, you're going to have a lot of things going on, which is why I've been liking the South American kind of graveyards and, and creepy stuff out here because there's so much thing. There's a lot of, uh, what's the right word to say? I don't want to say the P word. I want to say there's a lot of unfortunate people that are going through crisis when it comes to money. Okay. And what happens is, is that people start looking for hope and people start looking for other avenues of getting things that they want or praying for things in a more ritualistic type of way. So they go into the graveyards and they could either do good things or they could do bad things. And it's a bit of a mixture of both worlds. <coughs> now, there's a lot of downtime where nothing happens. And I'm gonna be honest, every YouTuber will tell you, when it comes to editing, you need to make sure your viewership is watching the videos. Mm, almost 80% drop off rate when it comes to editing your videos if you leave like let's say someone leaves a static cam recording for 90 minutes you know it's like hey guys this is a haunted cemetery I'm gonna record the static camera and just leave it recording you're not gonna get any views no one's gonna be watching it because either one there's nothing kind of entertaining them you, you gotta be moving around you have to show them the graveyard you have to show them things and so when you put all the good stuff and you cut out all the boring stuff and trust me I go through every length of the video to make sure I don't miss nothing and I'm not perfect sometimes I do miss stuff and somebody catches something that I miss but if you don't cut out the fat of the video your view ratio just drops down and it's a killer to you because you're working so hard to get as much views as possible and that very thing of just adding a lot of just you know nothing's happening you're watching it you can speed through it nothing changes on the camera um you could see it while you're editing um you just lose your view ratio so this is why i don't 
I do want to make the videos longer. Oh my God, I wish I had every video was 35 minutes. If not longer, if it's gonna, if the viewer's gonna love it. But uh, by the time I cut out all the stuff where I don't think is important and that's not necessary, you come off with the very high points of the video, but it holds and maintains viewership. So this is what every single YouTuber, they know about this. They may not talk about it, but every single YouTuber, they know, they, they deal with that. And uh, yeah, that's that's what, and you know what? Let me not say that because there's other YouTubers that are more way more successful than I am. Um, and they do the same thing. Um, and sometimes they do make it more. Uh, they, they make it longer and they'll add some more of the quiet scenes here and there. Um, and... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I just, maybe I should try it out. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I'm, you know, I know I've been doing this for four years to almost five years, but I still feel like I'm new at this and let alone alone. Cause I don't really, there's no one that I talk to. I don't talk to any other YouTubers. Just I'm on this ship, my little spaceship, my tin can flying through space. Um, and I love it because I feel like I'm in a movie and people are watching. <laughs> it's weird. I, I, I literally feel like I'm in a spaceship traveling my little tin can. And I feel like movies are more interesting when the character is single and he's just doing his adventures. Like Jack Sparrow, he's a single character. He, make, he j just looks great. He does good. Movie's entertaining. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator, single character, looks good, entertaining. Um, I don't know where I'm going out with this, but this is like thoughts that go through my head. Um, but every character, most characters, where they're by themselves doing their adventures or whatever that they're going through, it's always the, like survival videos when the character's alone. I don't know if you guys seen The, 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 the Road. Um, it's about a guy protecting his daughter or son, I think. I'm not too sure. And it's so entertaining because he's not, he's, he's, he's a single character and he's doing his adventures and he's surviving and it's just so much more at risk because it's just like it's just you and I feel that and I feel like people feel that and uh, Mandalorian big time fan of Mandalorian same thing travels a baby Yoda they go out doing their adventures but if you see the Mandalorian married you know or with a fully functional family which 95% of us don't really have a fully functioning family you know it, it's not as entertaining as it would be if the character was at least for me I'm, I'm speaking on my terms for me i just find that interesting and i feel like i like to mimic that uh just you know that lone character i want to change my videos especially for this channel a little bit and make it more cinematic um but i haven't yet i want to eventually but i haven't yet but i, I like this channel too it's like a break from paranormal side so that's pretty much the focus is of this channel so that way I don't burn myself with paranormal. There's other functions that I like to do with traveling and, and yeah, it's pretty cool <laughs> if that works. That was not a UFO, that is Canada stalking. <laughs> is it that bad in Canada? Just so you know, Canada's been, I've, I've been hearing things that they're about to throw Trudeau out of the office. I've been keeping up, love your content. Thank you, Anthony, I appreciate it. Um, have you been to Tampa Cemetery for filming? Yes, I have. Um, love you, Franco. I love your way of telling your stories. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I didn't know you guys actually cared about the storytelling. Tacos. Oh, I'm still, I'm far in the conversation. Hold to the front. Me rambling off, I forgot. <coughs> Let me see. It's, I'm still scrolling down to the bottom. There we go. Now we're talking. Simplemente, you're the best. Oh, thank you. You're awesome, man. Cinematography. Oh, I got a lot to learn, man. I miss using, like, doing a lot of B-rolls that I used to do. It's just where I'm at, it gets so dangerous, and I can't put my stuff. Like, I don't want to get robbed, so I got to be very careful. Can you do some accents? Sure. What accents do you want? Because I could do a... I, I, yeah, I could do accents. I, I, I've, I'm always doing. I, when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm doing an accent. Jackie! Oh, I can't forget Jackie. Jackie, I got you. Jackie's one of my moderators too. She's awesome. Uh, there we go. If I'm missing any of my moderators, Martha, I got you, Martha. 
there we go I just want to make sure that this channel also has moderators too Amy Max Productions TV your editing is top-notch we love we love you like family oh thank you Amy I appreciate that it's the first time I got that sounds like a plane is coming I love your cinematography too. Oh, Frank, love you and catch up later. Gotta go shopping. Good luck. Have fun shopping. Russian. I could do Russian. <clears throat> Gotta look the part. Every Russian has a shirt unbuttoned. It's just how it is, right? Have the shirt unbuttoned. You look like a guy that doesn't like to be talked to by any type of man. You want to be brought new to not glad and brought nyata. But don't worry about it. I, every time I think of a Russian, I think of Grand Theft Auto. You remember the guy? Nico, come on, let's go bowling. You don't want to bowl with me? Come on, Nico, what's the matter? Well, that's a little bit of Italian, too. Brodnyuti not glad and brodnyata. Or shrimp from Oh, I don't even know if I said that one right. Yeah, well, that's a little bit of Russian. Sometimes I get confused between Russian and German. i got to close this bad boy up before I give people the wrong message here if anybody shows up here. I look like Rico Suave on a rooftop, all wet. Um, any ghosts follow you home? T to be honest, I've been on buses. I've had more people follow me than anything. I've been on buses, and I just got to the hotel where I could. The walls are paper thin, so I could hear right next to the next door neighbor's room. I don't even know. No, I wouldn't even say I could tell, because I'm just thinking it's the next door neighbors doing some weird shenanigans. Uh, laugh. Oh my God, chills. If <laughs> see if I, I. Okay, I'll do it. Just no offense to this guy because then he's not gonna feature the videos because I don't want to piss anyone off. Oh, so I see you're talking shit. Because of that, I'm not going to feature you in our next video. So I don't want any of that. It's all for kicks and giggles, which I'm sure. He understands, right? Like we're on the same page, okay? Number 17, a group of urban explorers decided to go into a haunted cemetery, but little did they realize they were not alone. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm trying to think of something, uh, something interesting. There happened to be a local Chinaman in the inside cooking egg rolls, and then they found out. Yeah, there you go. I, I guess that would be chills, right? Little did Frank know when he takes a shower, I'm watching him. And when he's sleeping, I'm constantly grabbing his hair. I got scared. Every time I get a message, man, it's like, Frank, stop while you're ahead. They're watching. They're watching, Frank. But no, that's not, that's not at all what it was. Do you Robert De Niro? Oh, man, the Robert De Niro. And I got the mole, too, for it, too. All right, so Robert De Niro, you got to smush up the face just a little bit. And then you gotta pop the collar. Just like that. You talking to me? Huh? Tough guy, you talking to me? You wanna go ghost hunting? Huh? I almost said the F word. I can't say the F word because then that's gonna get me banned. Um, <laughs> how do you do an Italian voice and not do, can't say a curse word? Or you try to belt by cat? I don't even, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do Robert De Niro. I could probably do it off camera, but not, not on camera. Because you got to say an F word. And you got to talk with your hands. If you tie it in an Italian guy's hands behind his back, he'll have nothing to say. So, but that also consists of words. You think you'll, you see, I can't do it. The first thing that wants to come, like the third word is an F word. So I, I, that one's a hard one. Um, let me see. I do like to do the British guy. Oh, there you go. The Michael Jackson one. Um, <clears throat> Sir, I better be alone out here. <clears throat> I'm not dead. You're just ignorant. See, I got. If I turn the camera on, it's much more better because I feel like you're not watching me. All right, so let's go. Another day. Oh no! One more time. <clears throat> My throat's a little bit raspy. Another day is gone. Ah, uh, I don't know. I could do it, but I feel like my voice is raspy right now. I'm still all alone. You know you want to be a little white girl like me. You know, you just got to find that little high-pitched voice. 
I told you I wasn't dead, bitch. When you put the, Michael Jackson looks like a person, but he's never said it. But he looks like a person that could say a mean B word, right? And just be like, come on, bitch. Slap me in my face. I dare you. You would never do it. I bet you, punk. Come on, bitch. It just matches for some reason him saying that. But I've, I've never heard Michael Jackson. But if he did say the B word, it would probably sound something like that. I'm not scared of you. I'm not. You see, you come to me to my house and you try to threaten my life. Bitch, let's go. I'll, I'll whoop your ass right here. I swear. You know, it just kind of, that's how he probably would say it. And I'll do a little dance while I do it too. You know, and <laughs> you try to bug me. No, I'm done. All right. So that's, that would be Michael Jackson. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do the hee hee. That's too high for me. I, I, I don't know if I could do the high pitch, especially not right now. It got me all nervous and stuff. Uh, can you do prints? I can't, haven't done prints. I don't want to say I can't, but I haven't practiced Prince. Uh, I could do a mean... Okay, so there's this character that I play online. And no one knows about it publicly until now because this is public. But I don't care, so I'm just going to tell you guys anyway. His name is Umbaku. And I play a lot of... Well, I, when I used to play a lot of Call of Duty, I would imitate a Nigerian soldier that was named Mbaku. Mbaku would have been the Black Panther's brother. I love the name. has nothing to do with the Black Panther. So I stole the name and I used it. This is Mbaku's voice when I'm playing, you know, video games. Let's see if I could probably do it in here. It sounds a lot better if there's an echo. There we go. This is going to be interesting. Gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, you come to me to look for a way into the Nigerian soldiers. Oh, shit, there's people here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was, I just see this white princess coming right out. I say white princess because she was dressed in white. And she's coming this way. But that is the people that are coming out here to come to see me right now. And I will not. Are they coming this way? Are they coming this way to talk to me? And then if you want to do like a... If you want to try to see if you could have the accent, but do like a language. Now, no, even though it sounds like when I speak German, like Gladen, I am saying absolutely nothing. It only sounds like German or whatever German would sound like. That, that I have no idea. There we go. It's back. It scared me for a second there. So back to what I was saying. When I do a Nigerian accent, I make up the words, but something that would sound Nigerian. And I think the comments froze. Yep, the comments froze again. Hold on, let me fix it. There we go. All right, now I'm back. Hello, Steven Round. I saw you. Say hello to me, please. I got you, Steven. How are you, brother? All right, so this is how I did. I got you. I got you. In fact, Steven, I will say it to you like this. Welcome to the channel. We come to see you and to grace you with the good blessings, huh? And if he's a pissed off Nigerian, if he's pissed, he would sound, you'll have that, ha! You gotta make sure you throw out that, ha, that, that's very important. I do that a lot on Call of Duty. Ha, what did you say to me? How dare you disrespect the Nigerian prince? You never say that to me. And then if you wanna give him a curse, you do this. Agani nana, agani nana mukolio, agani nana. And it, it would be better with a choir. Agani nana mukolio, tore mario kai loka yurua, agani nana. You know, you just go with it. And uh, waka waka. See, that would be Shakira. Believe it or not, I could do a mean Shakira accent too. I found that one out in the shower. Not even kidding. Um, trying to think. So, can you... Can you feel the signs of my body? Hi, amor. Como yo se llama? Something like that. Let's try a different song. Um, my hips don't lie. No, no. Uh, yeah, it's, is it My Hips Don't Lie? Okay, let's try this one song. It's a Spanish call song. I heard it a long time ago. Um, hold on, I got a burp. Give me a second. There we go. I don't want it coming out when I'm doing a Shakira accent. So it goes. Para Marte, 
Necesito una canción porque no existe para mí una vida para mí por nación. Y cuando tú miras a mi soul, <laughs> something like that. That that would kind of be somewhat of a of a secure accent. <laughs> Someone says you look handsome tonight, Frank. Thank you. I appreciate that. That is a first. Well, ever since the sickness, I've apparently lost a lot of weight. No, I'm kidding. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's amazing. There is no sickness. I'm just kidding. Um, <coughs> what's this one? Hey, Frank, when you are coming to the UK, oh, man, uh, probably maybe sometime next year I should be in the UK. Let's see how money is <laughs> to get the flight over there. I'm laughing so hard. Let's try a different song. Um, hip was one out of one. You sound like Shakira. Yeah, I, 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 I did that in the shower one time, and I was impressed. And I was like, God, I should keep this up. I probably could, like, you know. Yeah, you know how, like, YouTubers always start off as YouTubers, and then they become songwriters, or they get arrested for something very bad? So I was like, well, I clearly I'm, I'm heading towards the music route, so this is awesome. So <laughs> have you talked uh, with Hyro? I heard of Hyro from my friends, because Hyro is, hangs around with a lot of my friends. He's now Ubering, I think. You never know, if you guys are in the Florida area, he might be picking you up, Big Hyro. Can you do Shakira yodeling? Y yodeling? What is a yodeling? Like, yodeling. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, Franco, you're so, <laughs> look, I have a lot of time on my hands, Martha, and I've been alone for far too long, damn it. So you start creating conversations with a make-believe wife, and you just go along with it, and then you just get it just gets interesting. But um, anyway, it's coming close to the end of the night, and I think I've been live for about definitely not 13 minutes and 59 seconds. I think I was a lot longer than that. Um, I think because the video cuts off and then restarts. Um, let me see, Kila. <laughs> But for this time, my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed the channel and I hope you enjoyed everything about it. But today I would have to let you go. Please don't go. I would love to stay forever. But it is impossible for me to be here for the rest of the night. I kind of want to play a little bit of Fortnite, huh? <laughs> I love that part too. Want to play Fortnite, huh? Don't try to kill me. I kill you too. I go after your brothers, your grandmothers, and your grand sisters. I'm done. I'm going to get myself canceled. I got to be careful. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this new channel. Franco Hubby says, hello, brother, Indian voice. Oh, because Tammy's husband is Indian. It is very good to see you, my friend. And tonight is not a good day to move it, move it. <laughs> He's awesome. I love that guy. But uh, damn, sorry I missed most of the live. Don't worry. It's pre-recorded. I made it as interesting as I could possible. Next video for this channel should be coming out soon after I finish with Franco if I make it out of this graveyard alive because it's that one graveyard where everyone seems to go sneaking into at night doing weird shit. So we'll see how that how that works out. Um, somebody says do Trump before I go. <laughs> so I want to tell everyone thank you so much. Okay, believe me, believe me, nobody does it better than me. Okay, nobody does it. China could try it, Mexico could try it, but I tell you right now, okay, I'm the best one that's going to be able to do it. I'm going to do it for you, your mother. Oh, no, he doesn't say your mother. I'm going to do it for you and your mom, your father, and your grandfather. Believe me, it's going to be amazing. He's an awesome guy. I know him. He does a fantastic job. He does a great job. I know him. You got to love him. Good guy. I recommend him for whatever. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching Franco Travels. I hope to entertain you with more stuff in the future. Believe me, it's going to be dangerous and it's going to be fun. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a good one. I will see you guys in the next one. And uh, I think I'm going to see if I could probably take today off and tomorrow get back on the saddle. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone. Love you guys. Take care. This is where it gets awkward because it just stays.